Chapter 8, Lesson 6, Write and Graph Inequalities. You will learn how to write and graph inequalities. You can write an inequality to represent a situation. Remember, we're going to use our symbols less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. Write an inequality for each sentence. You must be over 12 years old to ride the go-karts. First of all, we need a variable, so we need to do our let statements. In this, cage, we're, in this case, we're talking about age, so let x equal age. So here you have x and here you have 12 years old. We need to figure out the symbol that goes in between. If you must be over 12 years old, can you be 12 years old? No. What age can you be? Right, you can be 13, 14, 15, or older. So the age you can, you can be to ride the go-karts must be bigger or greater than 12. So the answer is X is greater than 12. Letter B. A pony is less than 14.2 hands tall. Our let statement. Let x equal, this time we're talking about height. So we have our pony and 14.2. A pony is less than 14.2 hands tall. So what height can it be? Well, it can be any height smaller or less than 14.2. It can't be 14.2. It has to be strictly less than 14.2. Letter C. You must be at least 16 years old to have a driver's license. So again, we're talking about age. Let x equal age. So we have x and we have 16. You must be at least 16 to drive. Can you be 16? Yes, you can be 16. So that means I'm using one of my equal to symbols, so I know it's going to have that line underneath. Now what ages can you be? Are they bigger than 16 or smaller than 16? Right, you have to be older than or equal to the age of 16. So X is greater than or equal to 16. The keywords here were at least 16 years old. Letter D. You must be older than 13 to play in the basketball league. Again, we're talking about age. We have X and we have 13. We have to be older than 13. Can you be 13 to play in the basketball league? No. But we have to be older or greater than 13 years old. Letter E. To use one stamp, your domestic letter must weigh under 3.5 ounces. Here we're talking about weight in ounces. So let X equal weight. We have our variable and our ounces. And you can use any variable you would like. Just a standard variable is usually X. That's why I'm continuing to use it. But it doesn't matter. Okay. Your domestic letter must weigh under 3.5 ounces. Can it be exactly 3.5? No, it has to be under or less than 3.5 ounces. Letter F. You must be at least 18 years old to vote. We're talking about age again. Let X equal age. So we have X and we have 18. Can you vote at 18 years old? Yes, you can. So I know I'm going to have that line, that equal to line. It's like half of an equal sign, right? Here's an equal sign right here, and half of it would just be one line, and that would go underneath because it, it means equal to. 
Okay, you must be at least 18 years old. So are you older than 18 or less than 18 if you are allowed to vote? Good, you are older than 18. So X is greater than or equal to 18. Now let's talk about graphing inequalities. They, inequalities can be graphed in a number line, and sometimes it's impossible to show all the values that make an inequality true. Remember, they can sometimes go on forever and give you an infinite amount of answers. The graph helps you see the values that make the inequality true. So we've got our less than symbol, greater than symbol, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. Now, less than symbol means that the number is not included. Like when we said your age had to be um, less than, let's say, less than 11 to ride a little kid's ride. Okay? You can't be 11, but you can be less than 11. That means 11 is not included in our answer. Anything under 11 is included, but not 11. So that's why it would be an open dot or open circle. Same thing works the other way. If you have to be older than 13 to play in that basketball league, you can't be 13. It does not include 13. So again, it's an open dot or circle. However, if you had x is less than or equal to 5, it includes 5 because of that equal to bar. Okay? So it's a closed circle or dot. Similarly, x is greater than or equal to 16. It includes the 16, so it's a closed dot. So a nice, easy way to remember it, if it has the equal to line underneath, it's going to be a closed circle. So now what we do with these circles. Step one, place the appropriate circle on the number line given. Step two, plug in a different number into the inequality and determine whether or not it's true. Step three, draw a line in the direction of values that make the inequality true. It sounds complicated, but it's not. Just watch the steps. N is greater than nine. Well, the number nine, I'm getting right from here, I'm going to put in the middle. If this is a standard number line, 10 would go after 9, and 8 would go before 9. So that's how we number our number line, and sometimes number lines will come pre-numbered. Now, I need to determine if it's a closed circle or open circle. So we have the greater than symbol, which means it's going to be an open circle. So all we do is we put an open circle where 9 is on the number line. Now, pick either the 8 or the 10 to plug back into your inequality. If I were to plug in 8, 8 is greater than 9. Is that true or false? Right, it's false. 8 is not bigger than 9 which means 8 is not part of our answer. However, if I were to plug in 10, is 10 greater than 9? It is. That is true. So all we're going to do is we're going to trace over the right side of that number line. So you have your circle, which is open, and your arrow that goes over the 10, in the direction of 10. Let's do another one, letter B. N is less than or equal to 10. 10 would be the middle number. One number before 10 is 9, and a number after 10 is 11. We have a less than or equal to symbol. Because it, it's equal to, it's a closed circle. Okay, so we're going to shade that in as best as you can. Pick a number, either 9 or 11. Don't pick 10. 
We already took care of 10. It already has a circle on it. We're not going to choose it to plug it in. Let's try 9. Is 9 less than or equal to 10? Yes, it is. This is true. So that means I'm going to draw my arrow towards the 9. Letter C. A is less than 15. 15 goes in the middle, then 16 on the right, 14 on the left, because it's a number line, it goes in order. What type of circle or dot are you going to use on 15? And I'm graphing it on 15 because that's the number they gave me. It's going to be an open circle because 15 is not included. It doesn't have that equal to line and pick something to plug in. I'll choose 14. 14 is less than 15. Is this true or false? It's true. So I'm going to draw my arrow towards the 14 because that's the true statement. Letter D. 7 is the number I'm given, so it goes in the middle. 1 before 7 is 6, 1 after 7 is 8. Is it going to be an open or closed circle? Good, it'll be a closed circle on 7. Now pick a number to plug in. I'll just choose 6. 6 is greater than or equal to 7. Is this true or false? It's false which means you need to try 8. 8 is greater than or equal to 7, which is a true statement, which means I'm going to shade or draw my line towards 8. And you're going to make sure you're drawing the arrow as well with it, because the arrow means it goes on forever, which we talked about before. The solution has an in, has infinitely many solutions. This inequality has infinitely many solutions. Letter E. A is less than or equal to 6. 6 goes in the middle. Therefore, we have 5 and 7 on opposite sides. Open or closed circle. It's a closed circle. And then we pick a number to plug in. 5 is less than or equal to 6. Is that true or false? It's true. So we're going to draw our arrow towards the 5. Letter F. B is greater than 1 half. Ooh, here's an interesting number. We don't always have to count by 1s. We can count by 1 halves. 1 half minus 1 half would be 0. 1 half plus 1 half would be 1. So you can have fractions on number lines. Is it an open or closed circle on 1 half? It is an open circle. And let's pick in our numbers. Pick our numbers to plug in. 0 is greater than 1 half. Is this true or false? Zero is not bigger than one half. This is false. So let's plug in one. One is greater than one half. Is that true or false? But it's true. Which means I'm shading towards the one. So draw your arrow and your line over the one. Traffic on a residential street can travel at speeds of no more than 25 miles per hour. Write and graph an inequality to describe the possible speeds on the street. We don't have a variable, so we need to define one. Let x equal, what don't we know? Good, speeds. Or just speed is fine. We don't know the speeds. So we need to write an inequality first using our variable and our number. 
Traffic can travel at speeds of no more than 25 miles an hour. Can they travel at 25 miles an hour? Yes. So I know I'm going to have the equal to part. Can they go over or must they stay under 25? It says no more than 25. So nothing more than, which means if it's not more than, it's less than. So x is less than or equal to 25 would be the inequality. And now we have to graph the inequality. 25 would be the middle number. So 24 and 26 on either sides. It's a closed circle because of that equal to line. And we plug in our numbers in our inequality. 24 less than or equal to 25, true or false? It is true. 24 is less than or equal to 25. So we're going to draw an arrow towards the 24.